Vernier caliper is a metric scale to measure object with higher precision. This tool's able to determine a measurement value until two digits of decimal number. So how to operate this tool? In this video, I will show you an animation about how to use and read Vernier caliper. As you see, Vernier caliper has similar look with a ruler. With metric scale and often it has inch scale too. But Vernier caliper has additional scale. This is Vernier scale. This scale is the secret that makes Vernier caliper measurement reach two digits of decimal. The Vernier scale is determined by the accuracy of the Vernier caliper. In this example, the Vernier has an accuracy of 0.02 millimeters. This means there are 50 lines on the Vernier scale, each with a value of 0.02 millimeters. The Vernier scale is positioned parallel to the main scale. As you can see, all the scale lines are aligned. Then, the Vernier scale is moved down by one line on the main scale. This causes the line on the Vernier scale isn't aligned with the main scale. However, if you look closely, the start and end lines are aligned with one of the lines on the main scale. When we move the Vernier scale, only the second line is aligned. When we move it again, the third line is aligned. And so on. This is how the Vernier scale works. To determine the decimal point, we simply look at the line that is aligned between the Vernier scale and the main scale. And now, how to use it. Here, I'll give an example of measuring a bolt. First, loosen the screw lock, then slide it to open the vernier scale. To measure the outer diameter or thickness, use the lower claw. Use upper claw that has smaller size to measure the inner diameter. The stick on the back is used to measure holes or gaps. Clamp the claw on the object to be measured, then turn the screw lock to prevent the vernier scale from shifting. Then, read the result. First, determine the value on the main scale. Simply look at the last line crossed by the zero line on the vernier scale on the main scale. This is the zero line on the vernier scale, so it's the last line crossed. Then, determine the value of that line. As seen on the main scale, this line is at 2 cm plus 2 lines. Each line on the main scale is worth 1 mm. This is 2.2 cm, or 22 mm. For simplicity, we'll use millimeters. The next step is to determine the decimal value. This is quite simple, but it requires a keen eye. Find the straightest line between the main scale and the vernier scale. This is the straightest. Then find the value of the line on the vernier scale. As you can see, this line is at 4 plus 3 lines. And as we discussed earlier, each line on the vernier scale has a value of 0.02 millimeters. And remember, this value is the metric value of the vernier scale. So, a value of 4 here doesn't mean this is the 40th line. But it does mean 0.4 millimeters. So, the decimal value is 0.4 millimeters plus 3 lines. where each line has a value of 0.02 millimeters, so 0.4 millimeters plus 0.06 millimeters results in 0.46 millimeters. After that, we input the decimal value into the main scale result to find the final measurement. Another example is this. What is the measurement value? 
The main scale value is 46 millimeters then, the decimal value is 3 plus 2 lines. That means 0 0.3 plus 0 0.04. So, the final measurement result is 46 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.04. The result is 46.34 millimeters. The essence of a vernier caliper is to use the main scale to determine the rough measurement value in millimeters, then use the vernier scale to determine the decimal value.